Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is a marvellous day in Cloverleaf Corners because we are going to be opening up the Village Cake Shop. This is both the Calico Critters and the Sylvanian Family's brand and this is just sublime. Look at this. We're also going to open up the cake decorating set which goes with this and it, both of these come with an actual critter. So the big set comes with Veronica the mum and the little set comes with Melinda the big sister and we'll open up our big box here and find out all the goodies, the delicious goodies that are going to be sold in the new village cake shop. So let's see. We've got, oh look at all those, oh boxes to make. <laughs> okay. Here we have got the actual shop and it is just beautiful. Look at all that lattice work and the big display windows at the front to display those beautiful, beautiful cakes. It even says village cake shop at the top. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, we've also got Veronica. She is the master baker here and she is a toy poodle and she is so adorable. Look at those little ears and those black beady eyes and extra little scraps of thread which we'll get rid of. She's got a little fluffy tail that comes out the back here. I'll see if I can uh, see if I can get it to stick out the back of her dress. There we are. We don't want to squash her tail in. That'd be terribly uncomfortable. So Veronica, here is your new cake shop. I know it is empty at the moment. We need to fit it out. And if you just would like to shut the doors to the new shop, we can see what we have got to go in it. Oh, actually, not in it. This part here. Oh, look at all those beautiful embellishments. This part is part of the shop front or the shop top. Look at those pretty, pretty patterns. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so this goes up here, just above the sign, and it, it just, oh, look at that. Oh, that just looks gorgeous. All right. And in this big white box, we have got so many goodies. And by goodies, I mean delicious goodies, plus some furniture and kind of miscellaneous things that I don't know what they are yet. So <laughs> we'll open them up. We'll see. So in this bag here, definitely some furniture. So this one looks like a counter with, oh, a turny tabley thing. And this looks like it might be it's a big table, a display table maybe for all of the beautiful cakes that Veronica is going to be making. And here is something see-through. Oh, it's an extra display level for the display table. This is going to look absolutely gorgeous. And now we get oh, the first of our cakes. Oh, and a golden cash register. This is fancy. We'll put it over here on the counter. And look at this cake. There are berries on the top and a mirror glaze. Oh, and all of the decoration, the frosting around the side. Now, if we put it over here on the little turntable thing, that will help for decorating it. So that's where the cakes will go while Veronica's busy decorating them. Well, this is exciting. What are these pink things in here? There's a platter. So these must be display pieces. Oh, definitely. So here's a very pretty tiered display and oh, they're differing sizes. So there's a tall one and a teeny short one and a middle sized one. So we're going to have to play around with these to see what looks best with which cakes. And here's one for little cakes with three different tiers. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. All right, I see more cakes in here. Let's see what we've got. I've just tumbled those cakes everywhere. And there's something over here under the display table. Well, this is beautiful. It's got this, oh, it's got, it's got fruit on the top and it looks like it is actually designed to be the next layer for this beautiful, beautiful wedding cake. And this one with all the raspberries on the top or strawberries on the top can go right up there. Look at that. And there's a little Sylvanian family's Calico's Critters house that can be used as a decoration right on the top. That's so cute. Or you can use them all separately and display them over here on the tiers. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. There are so many different ways that we can mix and match. That actually looks really good on that one there. I like that. And there's a hole here. We can put any number of things, I think, on this cake too. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Okay, so we've got our massive cake. We could split it into three or we can make... Oh, hold on, that bit's on the floor. <laughs> it's not so good. 
okay. It looks like the frosting wasn't disturbed, so that's okay. We can make a massive cake or we can make, oh, lots of different cakes. So this one looks like it's got chocolate sponge fingers around the side and it's got golden balls and a red ribbon and it kind of could go there, but it doesn't really suit. Well, kind of. You can do whatever you want with these, but not that, that doesn't fit there. So this cake looks like it's designed to be a standalone cake, as does this one with all of the strawberries piled up on the top. I wonder what this sort of cake's called. I don't know. It doesn't really go on there. It actually kind of looks a bit like a lid, but I know it's a cake. It's not a lid. <laughs> I can't fit it on there. That's not going to work at all. And we've got oh, a flan, a beautiful, beautiful pastry flan with some mint leaves on the top. And no, that doesn't, <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. And why are we putting these cakes on the floor? Come on, Ellie, let's put them actually on the display counter. That would be sensible rather than just tumbling the cakes on the floor. We've also got a piping bag for the icing. Looks as though it is full of delicious sweet icing. So we can actually pretend to ice the cakes. Look at that. Or we can use it over here on the turntable-y thing so we don't muss the fresh icing with our fingers. So fantastic, this is gonna be so much fun. All right, we'll put that, uh, well, we can put that on the floor safely. <laughs> oh, how are we going, Veronica? I think we're doing okay. Oh, and some little blueberry tarts with, oh, some fresh cream on the top in a swirl. And there is a hole on the top to put some extra things. And we can put this on the tier. And I think, yes, there are. There are more of these. There are three of them. One, two, where's the third one? There it is. Three delicious blueberry tarts. Or blueberry flans, it's up to you. <gasps> and strawberry charlottes, strawberry charlottes. We can put them on the platter. There are three of these too. We can't put it on top of the chocolate cake. We kind of can. <laughs> Let's find the other two strawberry charlottes. Oh, yum. They just look so delicious. And a citrus tart. I love a good citrus tart. And there's a hole in the middle too to put something else. So much fun. And a chocolate ganache type little single serve. This would be a really rich kind of pudding. Oh, there's a white one. We could stack them or maybe not. So the, we've got chocolate ganache ones. Yum. Three of them with the chocolate icing just dripping down the side. And three of these white ones. They could be little mini pavlovas, do you think? Whatever they are, they look delicious. And some tongs! Some tongs that actually work. Look at that. That's going to be very useful when we're packaging up these delicious treats. What else have we got? Oh, a cake slice. So we can use that to pretend to slice the cakes. <laughs> and we've got some more utensils over here too. We've got a whisk, but no bowl. There must be a bowl here somewhere. Hold on, I'll look for it. Uh, no, oh, that's not a bowl. This is, it's a pastry swan. Look at that with the cream being the little puffy tail at the back and there are one, two, three little pastry swans. How elegant are they? And a big gold bow. I know what we do with this. This goes on our massive big celebration or wedding cake. So if we put all the tears on, there we go, a three-tiered wedding cake, fruit, oh, and a beautiful gold bow on the top. That looks magnificent. Oh, here's the mixing bowl. Oh, it's so pretty, it's even got little decoration on the side. So that's not gonna put anywhere near enough mixture in it to make all of these things. And some little pastry leaves. We could, uh, we could use these to decorate the cakes, or we could eat them as biscuits, little pastry yummies. Let's twist all of these out of the casing here. Yum! Little pastry leaves. And what else? Strawberries. Lots of little strawberries are. So these, this is what the holes are for. So we can put some strawberries as embellishments on some of these cakes. We could put the strawberry on the strawberry charlotte. That looks perfect. Or maybe on our little white pavlova -y thing. Or in the middle of our citrus tart, there's just too many places to put them. So we've got six of these. 
And we've got more decorations here, little white tags. And I think I've got some stickers here somewhere to actually put on these. So let's twist these all out and I'll put the stickers on in a moment. There, this is getting very exciting. And some chocolatey ones. Oh, yum. So this one's a little chocolate medallion with an, with, is it an F on it? An old fashioned F? And a couple of, couple of little signs, little chocolate signs. They're going to need stickers as well. Oh, <laughs> it's all looking just too delicious. Here are our stickers. So we have got, uh, which one should we put on first? We need the long oval ones for this one. So the congratulations ones. Let's see if I can put this itty bitty sticker on. Nice and straight. Whoa, that is so tiny. There, congratulations! So we could put that on the little cake or it could go on one of the fancy cakes. And the other one is a happy birthday one. Where's my little tag for this? So we can put that in the middle of our citrus tart. Or <laughs> we'll put the happy birthday on it. There we are. Oh, this is where you're going to come for your cakes for all of the special occasions. And we can use one of these special cakes here. Look, a happy birthday, beautiful, delicious citrus cake with all the citruses, citrusy, fruity things on the top. And these little shield shaped ones go on our white ones. Oh, this is so fiddly. <laughs> this is not hard, not easy, sorry. It is quite hard to put these on straight. There we go. So there are six of these. <laughs> Where's the next one? We'll put this one on the blueberry flan. <laughs> and we might speed this up because this is so fiddly. But we're doing okay. They look absolutely spectacular when they're done. Here are our last three. There we are. Beautiful. We'll put them on all of the little blueberry tarts. Oh, delectable. They look so yummy. Oh, there we go. All right. So we've got stickers on all of our little signs and our tags, and it's all starting to look very luscious and luxurious and so tasty. Now, what are we going to do? We'll put the strawberry in this strawberry charlotte on the top here. We'll make sure they all get beautifully decorated. And we do have some leftover strawberries here. What are we going to do with this one? We'll put it in the middle of our citrus tart. Oh, lovely. Okay, now we've got all of these other pieces to press out. So we've got these big doilies, which we can put our cakes on for display and to just make sure that all of the yummy creamy, oh, drop the bit. <laughs> all of the lovely creamy bits don't get all over the display. So look at that, that looks so elegant now. What about this one? We'll put another big one on here. Beautiful. And our third big one can go on our nice tall tier there with our delicious chocolate sponge finger mm, yum, <laughs> cake. And there are three medium sized doilies in blue. So we can use these for the middling sized cakes. They're perfect. And we've got 17 small doilies. <laughs> so that's a heap. So I'll go and press all them out. Look at our little pile of tiny doilies. So this is fiddly, but we can set all of these little cakes up with our own little doilies. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Now I did say at the beginning, we had some boxes to make. So this one looks like it might be a gift box of delicious cookies. So if I can bend all the pieces into the right place and get my little tab into the right slot there, we will now have a fabulous cookie box. We could be using this for the pastries, the pastry leaves that Veronica has made today, fresh in the bakery. And some gift boxes as well for the cakes. And 
there we go. I don't know which cake would fit that one. And this one's got balloons on it, so this is going to be for a birthday cake. There we go. Wow, all right, so we've got three little boxes, if I can get this one to stay together. Lovely. Now we have got some carry bags, some cake carry bags to put together. And these ones tend to bamboozle me on the bottom to figure out where these little slots all go. Oh, but I did it. Ah, feeling very clever today. So some carry gift bags. We'll get all these tabs in. So there's one and here's the other one, all made up. And now we've got some stickers to put on. So these go on the actual shop. So on the outside here, we've got a nice big advertisement of today's specials. There's the pastry swans and the blueberry tarts. Yum. And on the inside, we've got three different places for stickers. So this one here looks like it might be a certificate of some description. Oh, for a wedding cake. Oh, look at that. And now it's an advertisement for the wedding cake. And then a picture of the yummy, 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 yummy fruit flan. And down the bottom looks like the certificate. There we are. Now, over here on the shelf, we will start to set up. We're going to put the boxes up here. Display boxes up here because you can't put cakes up there. And we can actually hang up our accessories by their little handles. Look at that. In the slots over here. How clever is that? And we can put our counter over here. And there's actually a slot over there for the cash register. Well, this is starting to look very good. We'll put our gift bag over there and a big doily on here so that we can start getting our wedding cake ready, the order for today. Beautiful, with a big gold bow on the very top. Absolutely delicious. We'll put the piping bag down there so it's ready for Veronica to use. And a mixing bowl with the whisk all over here. How is it looking, Veronica? It's really starting to take shape. It's starting to get very exciting. And in the display window, we'll put our middle size display there with that yummy, yummy chocolate cake. I would buy that if I saw it in the window. And a couple of little doilies to put the pastry swans out here because they would entice me into the shop in a second. They look so, so yummy. And the display counter. All right, <laughs> this is where everything else has to fit. <laughs> Let's see how we go. We've got our very yummy looking flan and our other strange looking little strawberry one, our beautiful blueberry tarts. And down here, if I can get them all in, we've got the strawberry charlottes. And we'll see if we can fit another swan up here because we've got a spare one. And our yummy citrus tart and our platter of delicious pastry leaves. And I'm going to just change this out because I think the chocolate, the little chocolate signet on the top will go nicely there. And up here I'll see if I can squeeze in all of these chocolate ganache cakes. Oh, yum. And down here, we just need to fit in all of those little mini pavlovery things. That's what I think they are. What do you think they are? They're so luscious and white. Now I'm going to swap these over just a little bit because I need to make room for our big wedding cake display to go on the middle counter because I need the cake preparing area ready to open up the cake decorating set with Melinda. So here comes Melinda with her cake, which she's just baked. Melinda is a super duper cute to toy poodle. She is the big sister. So she's obviously her mum's helper here in the, in the village cake shop. And she has been baking this cake. It looks like it's already frosted and it's got a fantastic tin there, which we can easily get the cake in and out of. We can put it over there on the cake decorating area and you can see that there's already a slice cut. So that's going to be so much fun when we get to play with it. It comes with a knife, nice big serrated knife for cutting the cake and a cake lift as well. So that we can serve the cakes too. 
<laughs> That's fantastic. Now we need some things to actually decorate the cake with, but we need, well, we get another couple of little doilies, a little doily for the single slice and a big doily for putting underneath the whole cake if we need to, but we've got some already, which is nice <laughs> from the big set. So we've got some signs here. We've got a happy birthday sign, chocolate sign, and another one of the pretty little medallion-y chocolatey things. But I think that we are going to decorate this cake with all of the strawberries. It's going to be cream and beautiful, beautiful, luscious strawberries. So let's, oh, hold on, drop those ones on the floor. Let's put these on the top. So, so many beautiful glazed strawberries by the look of it. We'll put this one over here on our cake slice. And there's one more hole, so we're going to make this a happy birthday cake. Oh, I am ready for my slice of birthday cake. Doesn't that look absolutely delectable? <laughs> I love the new cake shop. It's going to be the place to go for all of the critters at Cloverleaf Corner. And they're going to be able to get all of the most delicious, tasty things here. And it looks spectacular. We're going to have so much fun mixing and matching with all of these yummy, yummy cakes. So I hope you saw what was inside these sets. We are going to play with them soon. So make sure you subscribe and click the little notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite cake is. And I will be back with a new video very, very soon. Soon.